Hey, it's time for the new character. I have played Tote before, but they changed Tote so drastically since I've played her last that it's basically a new character. Nothing in the backpack, but I do have this side deck of carvings, which I guess we'll probably see in action come these fights. Actually, this is kind of strange. So Tote draws carvings each turn. These special items can be placed into the backpack. When she places a carving, she summons it. Then many carvings have effects on summons. So if I drag this to the bag, I deal nine damage that costs an energy. Can I put it on top of another? No, it would go here. And then second time I dealt nine damage, third time nine damage. No rewards because it's a tote tutorial. Some carvings can be used after their summon. On use, deal four damage. On discard, four damage is combat. So this costs one energy as shown in the upper right. And I still have energy like normal, I see. Some carvings have a cost to summon at the bottom of a card. Okay, so it costs energy. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, this item is used. Nice, so I could place this down. I could add an energy, deal three damage, and then with my three energy block, and also deal three damage, and also deal three damage, and also deal three damage. <laughs> it's almost feel like mini puzzles. Apparently this game actually has a puzzle mode. Discarded carvings can be drawn again. Banished carvings are removed for the rest of the combat. You can toss your carving carvings to discard them and deal damage. Okay, so on summon, draw two carvings. This carving is banished. So there's the bottom left telling me there's nothing in my deck and that these two are the only ones I have. So if I do nine damage, I would want to draw it again, but I need to first discard it. It costs an energy and it discards it. And I get to deal one damage because it discards, so then I draw it back, and then I get to deal nine damage. Interesting. It is different. So, I assume the next, the actual run is about to follow. Uh, hopefully? Of course, I should actually unlock a tote quest. I think this is supposed to be the first one, so it should kind of warm me up to it. Demeaningly called easy mode. Why isn't it like first mode? That's definitely not easy, actually extremely challenging. I don't know, we're gonna learn a lot here. Interesting, I start with Matthew. Oh, so I could get some cool stuff. You know what? Give me a rare item. <laughs> the cornucopia? Damn it. All right, well, I mean, sure. I'll, I'll loot with that. I kind of expected something with more power. I'll go to the crypt today. I'm feeling in a cryptic mood. So, tote in battle. Draw a ton of carvings. I have multipliers? Oh, because of the run. I see. So, carving that deals damage. Carving that blocks. Boss one, pretty standard. Adjacent weapons get plus two damage. On summon, deal six damage. When my turn ends, this carving is discarded, I see. Let's uh, get rid of the one that will block everybody. And can I put this over the cornucopia? No, also cannot. So I have to save room in my backpack for the stuff. Dude, I have so much max HV. This is interesting. Oh, so some carvings actually don't go away at the end of a turn, I see. So I could go spiky carving, cost, cost, and energy. So I could do that after the gem carving for maximum damage, because it's one damage per discard, and that gets me a win. Cool. So I don't know how I'd want to design the backpack here. I also don't get as many spaces when leveling up. Interesting. Okay, so I could get new carvings to add to my deck. Stores can remove carvings for a price. Projectile for each empty space to the right, five damage, or in whichever direction the arrow is facing. Okay. And then plus eight damage normally. Interesting. This seems pretty powerful. We can go Flowering Arrow and then just build all the way to the right. Oh, I, Reed seems pretty good too. 12 block? All right. I, I mean, I don't know if it's actually good. <laughs> we'll see. Vision of Danger. The Rat Badger. So I can just start by eliminating this bee. I got a spiky carving. Got a gem carving. More carvings. I don't know exactly how I'm going to want to position it, but it seems fine. Getting hit for eight. It's got 24 HP. So I can deal 13 this way, yeah? Wait, what? Oh, so I need a bow to make this work. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I can't do any real damage right now. I guess that's fine. I can block. If I want, I could just play this and then toss it, and then I actually do do a little damage thanks to the toss. Okay, that changes things a bit, so I gotta figure out how to get a bow probably permanently in the deck. At least it's free to play and then free to toss, because at least this way I can load up and then toss for the win. <laughs> okay, so am I still going for an arrow? Honestly, sure. I think it seems fun. Just build out that way. See if I get a bow ever. This says adjacent weapons get plus two damage. So this is a weapon carving. We use one time each turn and then deals four damage plus three damage until discard. 
Oh, sounds pretty interesting. Then I could try to go with the gem carving. Yeah, gem carving weapon strats. I'm here for it. Oh, so a chest. So this is a carving chest. Like get one thing can be played over other items on summon. Items behind are used. This carving is banished. That sounds good if I had items. I think I'll take the rare one. Just because it, it doesn't seem good now, but I, d you know, definitely see it being good eventually. You know, get a free use out of something. That is a hell yeah for me. But yeah, admittedly kind of useless right now. Speaking of getting something, is this a normal chest then with normal things? No, these are also carvings. So am I getting a carving for free? It can be used one time each turn. On use, deal damage, draw carving? Well, that's pretty good. Adjacent weapons get more damage. I think I want to keep going gem carvings. What does this do? No! Ah, oh, I wanted this. Oh, the damn hover didn't work. Okay, what did I just grab? Acorn cap. Oh, it's free eight block. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Can be used two times each turn. Wait a second. Wait, maybe I just need to click on it to use it? Okay, I'm gonna take it hoping that I just need to click on it to use it. If not, well, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Give me a little XP. Check out a question mark. Your house looks like a hat. Drop the buckler. I'll take what I can land on. I don't want the curse today. I'm not in the mood to figure it out. Pot of plenty. Ooh, draw more carvings. Okay, I like that one. Oh, did I? Oh, I got it. Nice. I didn't expect that to be there. Well, yes, I wanted this uh, pot of plenty. Oh, oh, it's a big accessory. Something that actually sits in my deck. So good. I don't draw it. Okay, that's very helpful. I might as well take out another fight. Draw almost more carvings. Okay, so ideally I want the front guy taken out. Well, I mean, I could block his damage, but it'd still be good to get rid of him. So here's what I'm actually going to do. If I place this down... No, it can't be used. Okay, I still don't understand it. I do, in fact, need a bow. I wanted to try this first because I can toss it. I can also toss this since it's free. Just uh, toss for two damage. Although one energy, I'll be all right. In that case, I might as well do the acorn cap for free. So I can get rid of the front guy and then go gem carving here into bonus damage for 13. Okay, at least I understand that part. And this, I mean, can be used quite a bit. I'll just plop you down out here. So this can be used. Uh, the use of that is pretty normal. You click on it, then it'll gain damage, I guess. Here, I just see a block is main attack. Both these take up two spaces. It's just how do I want it to take up two spaces? Seems good to me. Okay, so I can use this again. And then items behind are used. The spiky carving get used? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. I could test that later. Let me at least start with this. Actually, let me test right now. Spiky carving get used? It doesn't. Okay, so I would have needed to put it on shiv maybe, which is fine because I was going to win anyway. It's a great time to experiment. A book carving that removes status effects on everyone. It's a sap. I'm not going for a sap build today. I don't give a shit about how good a sap build is. I'm not even going to think about it. Not even going to think about it. I guess I'll do the status effects. I think what a lot of people misunderstand about how I play is I will be very... One track minded just to maximize my learning potential. I want to learn about the character. So if I see sap, I'm going to ignore it no matter how good it is. I don't give a shit. Same goes with like curses. I'm very focused on just this one build right now. A melee weapon. Yeah, it could be can deal additional damage. This seems pretty nice. What's in the shop? Oh yeah, so you can remove carvings. Uh, how much does it cost to remove a carving? Cost five. Oh, that's not too bad. I guess since I'm not really using the arrows... The second one also costs five. Next one costs ten, so that one's good. I can't afford an acorn cap. I could come back for that. I mean, why not, right? A little XP, a little fighty fight. Definitely want to wipe out the gremlin. Also, definitely want to get this gem carving down, huh? And spiky carving can finish it off after the damage. Otherwise, I guess I got a block. But I'm going to start with the oak hatchet, because this draws me a carving. Maybe I'll get free block. No. Status effect removal. So I'll block for everything. That goes away, which I guess I didn't notice why. But here, at least I can get the shift down, do a little bonus damage, build that up, and hang out. So here, I can launch the gem carving on this guy. Then do a little spiky carving to wipe this guy out. One damage? I'll do the thorn shiv. Okay, does the hero carving work on the shiv? No. So it really only seems to be on, like, non-carvings. This is a good to test. It's free. Quite literally free, so... Here I can also just get a little free damage, take care of the block. I'm probably discarding soon, soon. First I'll do a little gem carving, get more thorn shift damage. That's actually really powerful. 
Yeah, that's nice. How do I want to design the deck now? Well, I probably want to increase connectivity, actually, now that I think about it. And frankly, I also probably want to get this all the way over here because I do want to have adjacency bonuses. Ooh, melee weapon carving, six damage to all enemies. Each turn, plus five damage until used, so I could stockpile value with this. Cool. Otherwise, I don't have any adjacent consumables. I could try the four free block per turn. What's the question mark? You, who are you? You see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back. Then you realize it's not a wall, it's a capybara. He's looking for a type of weapon. Um, will you take a carving weapon? Weapon carving? You want know take the oak hatchet? Uh, maybe I want one of these instead. Cool. Carving can be used twice per turn. You deal six damage. When out of uses, it's discarded. Oh, so if I use it once, I can keep it. If I use it twice, it discards. A uh, legendary carving. Oh. 10 damage on use, 10 damage on summit, plus one damage this combat. On kill, this carving, carving is discarded. This one seems pretty good too. It's free damage. Uh, explosive. I don't actually have something that destroys an item, so I'll actually let that sit. Okay, I can thin to win right now. Oh, I can also buy an air acorn cap. Free block. It's free. And I draw a lot, so I definitely want free stuff. I need more coins, damn it. Oh god, I'm getting hit for a lot. So, hero carving might not get use. Okay, I gotta wipe out at least the front guy. Uh, put a gem carving in the center. Launch this. So I can also use on kill, it's discarded. So I actually might not do that. I think I can actually block and then use like a shiv maybe? Yeah, I can use a shiv to finish this guy off. Because at least here I can get the hit without a kill. Put down this shiv too. And hero carving will never do anything. So I might as well just get it out of my deck. Oh no. Okay. It did work for this blade because it has an on use effect. Nice. I see. Well, how about I get all this sick damage down? I actually have a lot of damage just saved up. Let's go for this one. <laughs> you know, pick your poison. The Jason weapon gets plus three damage. That's pretty good. Is that just the worst version of the gem carving though? Well, it is plus two damage. So I guess this is pretty good. Maybe I'll just take one, not overdo it. Nah, screw it, give me all the plus damage. Because I do have things to stick around for at times. Now I can do a little thin to win. What do I not want? Unfortunately, the arrow isn't doing anything for me, which is fine, whatever. How much does that one cost? 15. I hope I can get 15 gold. Probably unlikely though. I never know those three Bs. Oh shoot, I should not have sent the gem carving into the B. I ugh, set that up poorly. Um, You know what, this is fine because I could just do a second gem carving then instead. Yeah, this is how I could play. Another gem carving, get rid of the other guy that attacks. As much as I want to do the sword, I assume it gets discarded even if it kills on summon. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep it around if possible. Yeah, whatever. Just wipe out the guy that's going to deal damage. Don't take damage and carry on. Yep, don't take damage. Name of the game. I could put you here and everything's fine. Okay, this guy's making a run for it. I won't have this. I'm definitely going plus three damage on the shiv, which thankfully will be enough to make him not run away. Can't wipe out the B, unfortunately. Guess I'll just take my block. I guess I could get discard damage. Ooh, but I like the shiv. Yeah, but I'm gonna need space. I'm gonna need space, let's be honest. I think this is net positive for me anyway. Five status effects from everyone. Does that include, uh, that's basically nothing. Anyway, let's just hit this guy. Don't make the B any more angry, I guess, than needed. And hopefully finish him off. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. So. Plant adds rage to self. Uh, consumable synergy. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do the rage. I think they'll actually add up. It's all the rage these days. What about this? Ooh, actual things like coins. Hell yeah. I don't think I need block with where I'm going. I do care about this forge. What's the deal here? I could add damage spikes or natural to a carving. What does natural actually mean? I wasn't aware that was a keyword. Well, let's try it since I might as well. I'll put it on the gem carving. Oh, it can't be forged further. Okay, how about the spiky carving? Okay, how, do, how does this work? Natural. It will always be drawn on the first turn. That's kind of what I expected. It's good to spend 10 gold to experiment, because now we get the boss. Spheric King. Not too worried overall. Yeah, I can block most of his attack, and I think that's what matters. Because here, at least I get free, a little buffage, and then one of this for more damage. A little more damage here, and I am getting to block at least a little. Put that down here. This carving is discarded. Do I get one damage? No, that's fine. Using it doesn't really make a difference. All right, he's gonna be summoning a goon. How about I set up some perpetual damage? Use it once and then don't use it again. And I could set up some perpetual shiv damage if I want. And I do want. I mean, that's looking pretty good. 
Spiky carving? Sure, I guess. So I'm not going to use this a second time so I can use it twice next turn. Unfortunately, I have energy left over, but what was I going to use it on? Be honest. Okay, I think it's possible to deal 54 damage. I could do 18, 28, 38, and then more damage here. I think I get there, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the win. Now I would... Well, do I toss yet? Yeah, because these swords are too big. I have to toss. But these are good swords anyway, so it's fine. Nice. Cool. I could have summoned this too. We. All right. Good times. Good times. Another level up. You shouldn't have. You spoil me. You spoil me so. Uh, projectile. I deal four damage to all enemies for every three carvings I play this turn. Interesting. Uh, that can be buffed. I don't even need energy much. I could take extra damage, uh, even though this is I th maybe over. I don't know, actually. Oh, it's not over. We're going to keep going. Yeah, hold on then. Block? No. I can see acorn. Free block. I'll try it. How about this chest? Luck. Hmm. Wait, ah. Uh, I want to be able to drag this stuff around without adding it to my deck. If, if, if you can't drag it around, why is it stack? Why is it on top of each other? I want to be able to see what the things are. This is very frustrating. Unless I can remove it right now. What did I get? Oh, I can return the carving. Okay. Thank you. At least that's helpful. Enrage is nice. Uh, uh, consumable? Sure, actually. Why not? Lucky ring, why not? I got good stuff for parcel. Yeah, enjoy the loots. Cool. Uh, the healer price is different for tote. Gaining max HP is a lot worse when you already have 95 of it. So I guess the curse is the only thing I would want. Let's go to the enchanted swamp. The land of tote. It's where I found you. To the swamp we shall return. Oh, interesting map setup. I could try to get up there for the coins. You know what? Maybe I will rush it. Oh god, three enemies. So, do I have anything that works with consumables right now? I could gain more block. Yeah, actually, I might do that. This is not a weapon. So, I think the play is do this, launch the potion, and then I gain block. I like it. I like it. I could try to do something about the middle enemy with piercing, right? So, it gets used now, deals to all. Oh, this is nice. This is a sick little setup. Did I even wipe you out? I have enough block to tank him? This is a pretty sick build. We go. He's going to add some spikes. Uh, add some rage to self. Do I get it now? No, it's at the start of the turn, which is fine because he's just done for. Can be used four times each combat. Oh. Oh. What? It's consumable as well. So for one energy, I get four times 17 damage. Bro. Yes. And frankly, plus three damage as well seems pretty good. Just free stuff. Free stuff. Okay, what about this? What do we got in here? Daughter's Blade on seven. Summon deal 11 damage. On use, deal four damage. And then the carving is discarded. So, get to deal damage twice. It's pretty good with buffers. Um, I think I will at least try to get something out of my deck. I mean, stumps and spiky carvings are going to be the ones to go. I think I'll lose a spiky carving first. But I'll probably get a oak stump out next. I could take the Daughter's Blade right now. Especially since I just got rid of a weapon. I think I will. We'll see if I regret it. So I'm going to bun rush the coins. Bum rush. A cursed chest. I might take it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, whatever. I'll welcome a curse into my life. Carving curse. Each turn adds five block on discard. Lose a gold. Well, it's not, it's not even that bad. Okay. Mana sap. What's underneath? What, okay, what did, what did I take? I took the thing that was underneath. Oh, acorn cap. I like acorn cap, so that's fine. I wonder if I can remove the curse at the shop. I'm not going to take another daughter's blade just because my deck's getting kind of big. I guess I have to be a little careful about that sort of thing. Here, at least I can get some coins. Get some chests. Weapon carving. Ooh, four damage when the carving is summoned in adjacent space. It's used. Pretty good with bonus damage. Take the wand of dreams. Get a little vision. Weird goth badger girl. Ah, I, <laughs> I, I just instinctively clicked. I don't know if I would have done that. I'd expect this. Adds energy, one on low HP. I might just take it. You know, it's better than nothing. Procus Rune. Oh, has a use in Haversack Hill. Oh, sure, I'll take that. Maybe I'll just let the rest sit. My deck is size 30. I gotta stop taking things, I think. Take the curse, whatever. How about this? Your left foot is lucky. What do I want? I might be greedy. Oh, but Token of Energy also sells for a lot. I think that's worth a shot. I don't know how to guarantee it, though, so I'll just drop it and hope for the best. Damn near. Do I even want this? Make stuff discarded? I'm going to elect not to care. Right, how do I do here? Whoa, okay. The milady needs to go. 
Actually, Toadstool Sword, sword can I just wipe? <laughs> uh, but wait, this is cracked. So, shiny carving, Toadstool Sword, because this does 20 damage. You dodge, which is a shame. Um, okay, you know what? This is fine, I think. Oh, it costs an energy to use. Um, a little awkward. Oh, this is not a big deal, though. I, I can block for free. All right. I dealt damage to everyone, I guess. Used up the dodge. Okay, so this could have been a little bit better. I can wipe you out now. This could have been mildly better, but not by much. I think it's fine either way. Toadstool sort of finish him off next turn anyway. I take no damage. That's not the like. Yeah, two turn win. This costs an energy. There it goes. And anyway, I can set up a lot of damage with this kind of checkerboard setup. Okay, so you're cursed, whatever, don't care. I mean, I could just take the branch. Since my deck is big, I guess it makes curses less potent. So I guess that's fair, I should consider that. Uh, okay, I definitely wanna see if I can remove a curse from here. No, it does not let me, good to know. I think I'll remove an oak stump though. Get that out of my deck, I, I think it's one of my least potent options. It costs money for bad amounts of block. Why would I want it? Here, okay, I got a lot of looting to do. Poison potion, I might as well take it. Just chuck it up here. Little coins. Make a deal to get a different item of the same rarity. I could get a different legendary. Ah, thing is, it's probably gonna be bigger, which worries me. I'm gonna say never mind. actually. Just keep the tiny legendary, sell it in town, and have it be a backup plan if uh, shit hits the fan. I mean, it could be fine. I think I'm still gonna get rid of some trash. I have so many acorn caps, I can lose an oak stump. Yeah, the beauty of the acorn, just saving money. Ooh, scary stuff here. <laughs> Three acorns, huh? Yeah, I have a consumable. What is this? When Honey Guy's defeated, changes behavior in future turns. All right. Uh, survival Guy, don't accidentally play that. <laughs> Good lord. I could also save this for um, scarier fight. Yeah, I'm gonna block everything already. Make me weak? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'd like to wipe out the front guy. Start with a shiv. Actually, I might as well place this down. Three damage to all. Yeah, I gotta remember the three damage to all. I kind of keep forgetting. Oh, because I'm always gonna block and block. I guess I might as well place survival guide for three damage to all. Equalitarian damage dealing. Because at least this way, I don't have to lose the dagger. Unless I want to wipe that guy out. No, I don't actually do that. So I'll cool it. Plenty of block thanks to my trusty acorns. 22! Huh. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, how neat. Okay, here's the play then. Uh, let's do a lot of plus three damage to everyone. I'm definitely going to launch the spiral lance. Um, but I think I need to first set this guy down here. Because what I can do is summon him here. And then get him 15 damage to all. And that's looking good. I'd love to see it. I haven't really used this rage. Um, it's been a little too slow for me, so... I think I'm going to pass it for now. You know, it could be good if it were natural. So maybe next chance I get, that'd be good. Here. Okay, the hair defender defends the honey badger. The honey guy's just hanging out, being a little prick. Ideally, I want to get rid of the hair defender and just suck up the um, honey guide issue. Here, though, always get a shiny carving to begin with, followed up with a gem carving. I wonder if I should have done this differently. I think it's fine. I, I might actually summon it like this, not get maximum damage. No, no, no. Just take the max damage, wipe it out. I lose it, whatever. I'll live here. I mean, of course, I'm taking my block. I got to put Wasp Honey in a better spot. Or, yeah, yeah, I got to move around Wasp Honey in the future. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. My shiny carving isn't really taking advantage of it, and it should. I'll have to change that for next time. I think I'm actually going to launch it here because, unfortunately, I would be one damage off of this guy. Wait, 14? Motherfucker, I wouldn't have been. Okay, whatever. I'll be alright. Slightly weaker now. But I can just remove that, so it is effectively a nothing burger. The burger is gone. A little adjacent weapons. Um, I should be able to wipe out both of them this turn. Yeah, that's actually really powerful. Ooh, that's mega powerful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying to box it up. I'll throw you up here, I guess. See what I can get. Move this around to here. More of the action. Acorn cap is good. Uh, I've been making a lot of use out of free block. Yeah, I like the acorn cap. Let's remove the uh, expensive one in the future. Any good here? A willow shield can be played over other items. That is really nice. You know, such as the pot of plenty. On summon, adds 12 block, adds one energy. Carvings behind are discarded. That is cracked. Good lord. I didn't even look at this. It's, yeah, it's worse than the one I took. Yo, hold on. Hold on. This is sick. 
Um, let me go just to regular shop just to see what there is. You sell carvings too. Oh, and something draw two carvings. Oh, that's amazing, except I'm too broke for it. All right, fair enough. I might save up for that. Yeah, honestly, if I can afford that for 35, it'd be worth it. Okay, scary turtle. Big, big turtle. Okay, I'm getting hit for a lot, so I'm probably gonna have to do Inoki mushrooms. Do a little poison damage against the dudes in the back. Do I have any other consumable synergy? Uh, Wand of Dreams, I probably should have made use of. I still can, uh, but it's awkward. That's fine, that's fine. I didn't notice that I had it. Gotta get used to these things. So I launched the poison potion. I get my block. I'm getting hit for 22. Maybe see if I can get rid of this guy. I won't be able to, but so that means I'll need to block. Uh, Acorn Cap for sure. I mean, I have the energy, so I might as well just launch this. Launch a spiky carving. Say it is what it is. Does hero carving affect Wand of Dreams? And does it also use it? Yes. Okay. That's nice. So I can play it on there, get some good value. Nice. I like it. I figured I was never going to draw it again with how big my deck is, so why not, right? This bad boy is running away. Let's see if I have anything to say about it. Oh, so Wasp Bunny is only a project, a relic. So things that buff weapons don't even buff Wasp Bunny. Okay, so I haven't been misplaying, in fact. Yay. However, uh, I could do a little Wanda Dreams. You hit me for 11. I guess I'm sucking it up. I guess the nice thing is I can play the branch. Hold on, let me play it like this, though. Get the Daughter's Blade going. Just get that free damage. Get it out of there. Play the branch here. And I should get block at the end of turn. So then I wanted to go dagger for unlimited damage. Oh, I could change his intention right now to save myself HP. Okay, that seems worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're chilling. Now, poison can kind of wreck him. This can discard carvings. I'll see if I can get to him. A little free damage. This doesn't really have a heavy use to me, unfortunately. I think I'd better be, be better off just going for the shiv, using it. It's not really to much impact. And then maybe getting like mushrooms out here. Give myself some rage in follow-up turns. You know what? I, actually, I, I could play this shield. Discard that stuff. Just uh, get it back into my deck. Free up a little space. Yeah, it was mostly this space right here that's freed up. Now he's attacking. I'm a little bit ragier. Just a touch. I might just elect to block here. Yeah, I'll elect to block. I mean, it fits in pretty cleanly. Whoop. Shiny carving could set up a good move next turn. And then he's probably done for. No more block for you. Yeah, I think with the thorn shiv, it's all over. Nice. So, okay, you're going back to the corner since I've learned. Reach adjacent carving gets plus one energy on summon. Bro, I don't have an energy problem is the only thing, but it does discard adjacent carvings. Rare, on summon deals six damage and the above item is used. Wait, also pretty cracked. Flowering cleaver could be pretty good. Uh, every now and then I have an energy problem. It's barely a problem, barely a problem. This one seems interesting. It's free stuff. Wait, I can take both. You know what? I might as well. I guess there's no downside to it. It's easy to forget. Uh, I don't have a key. Is there a key on sale? No. Uh, I could definitely take on another fight. Hmm. Scary setup here. Oh, but Spiral Lance can be cracked. Okay, so shiny carvings in the middle to eventually help out Spiral Lance. Put the mushroom up here for later. Uh, I could give myself a little block. I could set this up here. How much does this do? 13 to all. Wait, but I could, I could just use this, yeah? Can't I just use it again and again? Okay, uh, amazing. The rest of the sword just seems okay. I have way better stuff, as it would seem. I won't be able to afford the legendary carving, unfortunately. I will take that sweet, sweet heal for one. And check out the shop. So in that case, I'm definitely just thinning. I guess I can afford to remove two things from my deck. The oak stump is leaving, then probably a spiky carving. Yeah, money well spent. I mean, I could have done something at the forge but uh, i don't care i don't care don't care i will also make the time efficient play if i don't have to think about it um that's better than being optimal all right so i'm not gonna get much out of energy can i get 158 damage it might be a bit harder spiral lance is pretty cracked though so at least i can get something going there get the mushroom down i'll get a gem carving down here i suppose launch the spiral lance here and do a dagger I'll do it like this because i think i want to just buff the lance as much as possible and then get one use out of the dagger yeah so plus five damage until used i don't know if it keeps stacking probably not if i had to guess all right so that's a lot of enemies uh no doubt i hate it 
Well, I had two dodge to all enemies. Uh, that's a nightmare? Because I won't be able to save the survival guide. I guess I'm getting rid of you for sure. How about I start with the gem carving? Where can I place the toadstool sword? Well, I could get rid of the briar dagger and replace it. I think that's worth it. Okay, so I set this down. So use this twice for nine each. I'm always gonna spiral lance, right? Yeah, actually, I don't even want to use toadstool sword much. Let's see what happens if I use this. I mean, it gets less now that I've used it once. I think this is fine. Nine to all. This does nine. Realistically, I'm gonna keep launching the lance. Uh, I can do an eight block for free. Eventually, I'll get damage to all. Uh, this for free and get an energy back. Eh, nothing to worry about. Nine to all. Get rid of this prick. This prick. Oh, I could still play this. I suppose I will. Uh, do I want the five block? Honestly, no. I think I'd rather save my space to, you know, deal damage. Thanks, so. though. Right, you're summoning again, huh? Okay. On some, the above item is used. Definitely want to make use of that. I think I'll plop this down here. Oh, the above item is used. Wait, I can rotate it, though, right? Yeah. Hold on. Here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking I want this sword down. It's free damage. And then I get... One cost for 15? I guess I'd rather just use the Toadstool Sword. Yeah, I guess I'd rather use this. So here, I don't know if this works how I hope it does, but if I turn it this way, face left, does it use the Toadstool Sword? It does! Oh! <laughs> Cracked! Awesome build. What do I get? Hey, my reward! Love to see it. Gonna go into the town on my high and mighty. Dude, Toad? Toad is fun. I explore deep in the dungeon, deeper than I've ever been before. I think I'm ready now. If you ever need my help in the deepest place beneath us, just let me know. I will do my best to help you. Oh, the anticipation is building. Okay, so hopefully I get a cooler tote quest. I mean, ideally, I just want to unlock as much tote stuff as possible because it's fun. Yeah, like the mushroom friend or sap primer. I can do a sap primer. Yeah, sure, 300 food. Uh, it's uh, very expensive, yes, but whatever. Ooh, if I give another carving and more stuff of them, I could throw the book at them? You know what? Sure. Why not? What else? Well, I guess, like always, I can sell. Well, let's see. I would, I would think I would want to sell more, but I went checking for everything. I couldn't really research any of it. Like, who needs a lucky ring, really? Yeah, same with, like, most of this stuff. I mean, maybe I'll keep, like, singular copies of stuff and then just get rid of the duplicates, because there's a lot of duplicates. Yeah, we'll chill now, but I think I may be selling more soon. It's all quiet in the town. This is fun. I'm going to run Tote back next time, and I'll see you all then. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and peace.